wait anymore. 102 subscribers now. The bottom 10 reserve list cards that no one cares about. Welcome back everybody. This is Brody at Alfonso Investments here to give you this amazing video. June 29th, 2022. Special shout out to everybody watching on the free Treon, Smash Jackson, Garen Jodder, Dusty Cully, Murray Cooper, Tyler Friesen, Tyler Harrison, Kyle Mears, Coin Pomeroy, and the MTG, Moxman. A very special shout out to you folks, and this video's epic shout out goes to Zach Coltrane and Thero Flamma. You guys pushed us well over the 102 subscriber mark. Hivis of the Scale, Lodestone Bobble, and another card, Suleiman's Legacy, heading all the way from Brody's bottom 10 to the top 10 on the reserve list in just a couple of weeks. So we're excited to bring you guys this video. Thank you very much for watching. And to those of you tuning in on the juice, the juice is in the house and the house is in the juice. I would really love to start the video. I can't do that until me and my cousin Jimmy give this card a dishonorable mention. He came in all the way at the bottom end of the reserve list last week and now nobody cares about this card. All right, train horns blowing this morning. Brody's got a coffee. I'm excited to bring everybody Another bottom 10 reserve list cards no one cares about. Starting off with this card right here, Rainbow of Freet from Visions. It's $2.23 to get a copy of it in your collection or €2.27. Euro euro a blue 3 1 flyer from Visions costs one blue and three, two blue to phase it out. A beauty made more so by its fleeting visitations. I'm telling everybody, Brody is telling everybody, phasing is coming back. It may not seem relevant now, but here's another card we love that flies, it has phasing, and it's on the reserve list, so we're buying it. Brings us to the next card on our list, number nine, Via Shivan Dragon, another Ian Miller art card, one of our favorite artists in the game of Magic the Gathering. Leave us a comment in the comments section below. It'll cost you $2.23 to get a copy of this in your collection. It's actually the exact same price as the Rainbow of Free. So $2.23 for a Via Shivan Dragon or $2.23 will get you a Rainbow of Free or €2.29. Euro, Euro cent. You choose. Either or. Which one do you like more? It's a 4-4 flyer dragon creature type. It's from Visions as well. It flies, it's got fire breathing, and it's got 1 green plus zero one 1 until end of turn, which you can activate as many times as you like. It's Gruul, it's a dragon, it flies, it's $2.23, and it's on the reserve list, so we're buying it. Which brings us to the next card on our list. I'm excited about this card, another flyer with phasing. Teferi's Imp for $2.05. You can get a copy of Teferi's Imp in the collection or one euro, 72 euro cent. The Teferi's Imp is from the Mirage block. It's a flyer, one blue and two for a one one flyer with phasing that says, when Teferi's Imp phases out, choose and discard a card. When Teferi's Imp phases in, draw a card. Major look. This card's sweet. When it phases in, you draw. When it goes out, you discard. There's a million and one uses that you folks there watching, all 102 of you, could put a comment in the comment section below. What cards does this work well with? We can name a few. Which brings us to the next card on our list, number seven. These are all cards that are looking around at the $2 mark. Number seven is Implements of Sacrifice. Implements of Sacrifice is $1.56 to get a copy of it into your collection or one euro 94 euro cent. An artifact from the Fallen Empires block. There's a few artifacts on our list this week and I think it's mainly because of the Brothers War that's going to be an artifact theme based set that we think is coming out. 
very very heavy in artifacts any artifacts like this implements of sacrifice costing two mana comes into the battlefield untapped you pay one tap sacrifice implements of sacrifice add two mana of any one color to your mana pool play this ability as an interrupt relics of the order of the ebon hand the bowl and dagger bespeak the hideous cruelty of its rituals this is an amazing card it's a colorless card that gives you colored mana of your choice and it's on the bottom end of the reserve list so we're buying it brings us to the next card on our list number six a dollar 82 for razor pendulum or one euro 18 euro cent razor pendulum another artifact for four mana from the mirage block it says at the end of each player's turn if that player has five or less life razor pendulum deals two damage to him or her amazing thing gravity it seems to work every time tm tor this card is awesome if you have any other ways to get the whole life total around the battlefield down to around that five life level let's see is there any other cards on the reserve list that may help us do this the razor pendulum is another tick kill card that works well like the god pharaoh statue or something that's got a lot of synergy to it or uh, synergistic effect that goes all the way around the board and commander this could be a card that's really hard to deal with and can put players away late in the game and considering it's two damage the, imagine the amount of damage this thing can deal if it goes around the board enough times. nobody wants to play a copy of the razor pendulum so we're buying it which brings us to the next card on our list morin fen a hard one to say and all these cards look like they're under two dollars today folks $1.79 to get this card into your collection or 1 euro 57 euro cent. A 5 4 flyer for 2 black and 3 from the Weatherlight block. Morin Fen's a legendary creature. I looked into its eyes and its soul was so empty I saw no reflection, no light there. Crovax. Morin Fen says cumulative upkeep, one life. Well, going back to the razor pendulum like this there are arguably a lot of reasons to get your life total low this is a card that can do it you can pay a lot of life into this as it sits around the battlefield then maybe with a copy of children or core of coreless you'll start gaining life back there's all kinds of overpowered interactions that could come out of a copy of this morin fen but nobody wants to play that but we do so we're buying it which brings us to the next card on our list. And when I saw this card, this creature card, I was stoked. I'm so happy. This is one of Brody Alfonso's favorites. Felonite Monk from the Fallen Empires. It's under $2. It's $1.73 to get this into your collection or two euro, 28 euro cent. This card is bottoming out in price. It's a one, two cleric. So cleric type matters in this day and age. Two green and two for a creature that says the cleric Tap, sacrifice a green creature to turn target land into a basic forest. Mark the changed land with a counter. As the climate worsened, some Thelonites turned to fertilizing with fresh blood in an attempt to keep ha <laughs> Havan wood alive and growing. Sarpedian Empires Volume 3. This is an amazing card. It marks the changed lands with counters. It's permanent for the rest of the game. It can disrupt the board, and there's only a few cards in Magic that do this, like the Quorum Trench Gnomes. The Thelonite Monk is overpowered. If you can activate this again and again, it can turn those amazing lands into just basic lands. And it's on the reserve list. Nobody wants to play the Thelonite Monk. No one wants to play Clerics, but we do, so we're buying it. Which brings us to the next card on our list. This card, another favorite of mine because of the art on this card, a favorite artist of Brody Alfonso's, Phil Folio's Findhorn Pollen. It's $1.36 to get a copy of this amazing card into your collection, or one euro, 40 euro cent. An enchantment from the Ice Age block, one green, two colorless, has a cumulative upkeep of one, and says all creatures get minus one, minus O oh, until end of turn. You gotta pay a green and one into it. It's got like a fog type effect where it'll weaken, it basically gives the players, aller the creatures allergies. I breathed deeply and suddenly I knew not who or where I was. Elvish Hunter. So this Findhorn Pollen is deadly stuff. 
it will go around the battlefield, give all the creatures allergies, reduce their power. Why is that very good? Well, if you looked at another card a little while back on Brody Alfonso's bottom 10 list, the Dwarven Thematurgist, there's all kinds of cards out there. And just to name a few, he's one of them that switch creatures, powers, and toughness. And I learned another something about Magic the Gathering in discovering this card, Findhorn Pollen, which makes me like it a lot more. There's more than one type of thematurgist. There's a merfolk thematurgist. If you want to look it up, who knew? <laughs> Let's look at this card, Manic the Fever Dreams. He turns creatures inside out. It switches their power and toughness of all creatures on the battlefield. Inside out, Strange Inversion, uh, Crookshaw Transmuter. These are all cards that switch creatures' power and toughness. And if you're reducing the power with Findhorn Pollen to zero or less, when you switch their power and toughness, they all go to the graveyard. Nobody wants allergies on the board, and Findhorn Pollen does that. We're buying it. Which brings us to the next card on our list, an enchantment card. A lot of enchantments, artifacts on this list this week. Wave of Terror. Here's a card for $2.97. You can get a copy of this into your collection or three euro, one euro cent. Don't forget the euro cent. Wave of Terror costs one black and two. Cumulative upkeep one colorless mana at the end of your upkeep bury each creature with casting cost equal to the wave of terror's last paid cumulative upkeep the sea of fear has endless depths so this goes around the board once you pay one into it and then on the next turn on each of your upkeeps all creatures with a one casting cost are gone and then two and then three and then four so it's a slow tick type of board wipe it only costs three three mana and it was only one black pip so it's pretty easy to play and it seems to fit flavorfully in decks these days the wave of terror nobody really wants to see the wave of terror but for two dollars and 97 cents we may pick up a copy which brings us to the number one card on our list this week in the middle of summer brody is got winter's night on our list today. This card was super relevant about six months ago when we were in the middle of winter. Snow covered lands were a thing. There were sets that come out with snow covered lands and basics being reprinted. Now we're so far out of winter's night season that this card has been bottoming out for some time now. It may be a time to pick up a copy of this card from alliances it's on the reserve list it's two dollars and 87 cents to get a copy of it in your collection or two euro 72 euro cent the enchant world from alliances says whenever a snow covered land is tapped for mana it produces an additional mana of the same type and it does not untap during its controller's next untap phase a powerful card mechanic that is really relevant in snow lands and at this season, this seems like a good time to pick up a copy of this card. It's on the bottom end of the reserve list and no one cares about it. I'd like to give a special thank you to the viewers tuning in this time to Brody Alfonso's bottom 10 reserve list cards that no one cares about. The Freetreon, Smash Jackson, Dusty Cully, Garen Jodder, Murray Cooper, Tyler Friesen, Tyler Harrison, Coin Pomeroy, Kyle Mears, and the MTG Moxman. Zach Coltrane, thanks for joining the channel. And Ferro Flama, you two pushed us well over the 100 subscriber mark. Makes me excited to bring you guys another video. Sometimes the YouTube algorithm doesn't care about us but you do so thanks again for your support your comments in the comments section below i really look forward to seeing you all again and here's looking at you via shivan dragon what should we do for where are we going to spend two dollars and 23 cents is it going to be the rainbow of freight or here's looking at you via shivan dragon